Attitude. Very first spastic collectibles box o pops. Just got it in the mail today. It is a fifty dollar box. Um, you get six pops, and I don't know. If there, I don't think there was. Yeah, there was guaranteed. Just guaranteed value. Your fifty dollars. And yeah, let's see what we get. I'm gonna open it from the bottom. And they do ship in the nice sturdy U line boxes, so that is nice. Sorry if y'all can hear my fan going, because it's hot. So good, I'm gonna bubble wrap on here. Um, there was no like grails like or if there is they weren't mentioned or anything like that so if I see I see and we're not gonna do a whole thing we're just gonna no more reveal just show what there is and a lot of bubble wrap I like that though Definitely packaged better than the last box I got just from Amazon. I mean, everything came in good shape and everything. It's just it was lucky. So all right, let's see what we got. Well, do not click Kingdom Hearts, but we have Sora. I've never even played the Kingdom Hearts games. Not my kind of game. Alright, and we got... Oh. Oh, I've got my first... Warriors pop, Cochise. Oh, it's got... I don't know if the camera will see it. And on one side there, next to the number. Down near the bottom, there's some really bad creasing. Actually, it's downright torn right here. Well, it was not supposed to be a damage mystery box, so... Huh. My had sent a little email about that. And I guess it was only a $50 box, but when it doesn't say that it's damaged, you almost expect there to be damage. At least not like that, where one's ripped and crushed in. But... Captain Marvel, which I'm always happy to get. And it's the neon suit one, which I really like. So we got one keeper so far. And let's see. Right here. Let's see. Looks good. Uh, yeah. It's got Balma, Dragon Ball, um, and I love I love Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT is okay, um, Dragon Ball Super is great, but there's just so many Dragon Ball pops that I'm only gonna get like really select ones, so that one's probably not a keeper either, and we got okay we have a keeper I'll tell you that right off the bat. is Majin Buu. Now, he is a really cool looking one. He is lighter than he looks like he would be. And this one's from 2016. So um, might have some decent value to it. Uh, I know they take a long time with some of the Dragon Ball Pops to actually bolt them. And I already saw the back on this one. And no, I'm not hiding it because it's good. I'm hiding it because it's definitely not a keeper. We have Levion, Le Levon, Bell from the Jets. Uh, this is my first sports pop I've ever got. And with Mystery Boxes, it probably won't be the last one. But 
Dev playing, not a keeper. Not at all. I'm not much of a football fan. Um, I do like I do like soccer, European football. Uh, favorite teams: Manchester United or the or Arsenal. But even that, I don't really keep up on. It's just I enjoy watching it once in a great while. So it's a fifty dollar box. Um, well, we got two keepers out of it. Majin Buu is a pretty cool one to get. So, do some value real quick here. Right, pop price guide. Hold on. Calculator. Alright, got a calculator open. I'm going to pop. Oh, this must have fallen off one of the pops when I pulled the motor or something, or off the paper, but that's the best collectible sticker there, so that's kind of cool. Alright, first we'll go with this LeVon Bell. Let's see, I'm just typing the one part of his name and see what went. Yep, there we go. I see he's also played for the Steelers. $12 pop, not too bad. Alright, and we got Bulma. I don't think there's that many Bulma pops. Four, four results. And she's worth 11, so not too bad. Got a feeling it might go downhill hill from here as soon as I type in Sora. Yeah, I get a lot of people love that game, and Kingdom Hearts is a big deal to a lot of people, but I just... It was never for me. I'm not not into the role play the RPG games. But that one is eleven also, so so far not so bad. And we got Coaches. And he is worth eight. Now, at least the one that's got some damage to it is so far the cheapest one. Majin Boo. Ten dollars. All right. So right now, with one more pop to go, we are two dollars over over value. So not too bad. Okay. Marble. See when typing a neon works. Yep. There she is. All right. She is the cheapest pop, and at six dollars. So it's fifty-eight dollars back on a fifty-dollar box. Um. It was free shipping, so, you know, $8 back ain't too bad. And four of them are going to be going up for sale probably 10 minutes from now. So, uh, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Uh, tomorrow, uh, should have in my first ever box from the Vault Queen. And that one has some really awesome grails to it. Um, one I'm really excited to try to get is the, um, I got it right here. Um, they have Little Sebastian, it's a horse, I don't know what that's from, but he's worth 48 but the ones I'm really hoping to get are either the Freddy Funko Golden Freddy Idol, it's a Fun Days 2019 exclusive, it's a 1600 piece limited one, so... That'd be awesome. I don't have any of the limited number ones like that. And he's going at the price they made when they made the boxes. He was going for ninety five. Um, but the one I probably want most would either be the Emerald Chrome Batman limited edition ECC C two thousand eighteen fifteen hundred piece. Uh, PPG at the time was three hundred dollars. Um, I don't collect Batman. But that one would be some. That one would be going up for trade, probably not just for sale, but probably up for trade. Or the one I'd actually probably be the happiest with, as far as like for myself, uh, would be the purple dress Elvira. Um, she's the Spooky Empire 2019 exclusive, limited edition, 2500 piece. 
130 bucks. So that's what we're hoping to get um, get tomorrow. And so stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna post this one up tonight. Maybe get that one posted up right as soon as I get them in tomorrow. So make sure you come back for that one. See what there is, because anything that's not a keeper will always go up for a sale or trade. Um, if you're watching this and you see any of these that I or any of the other videos I said ones aren't keepers and you want to trade. Uh, just contact me through here. Just leave a comment or message me on you know through here, um, and we can set up a trade if you want. If there's anything um, from the older videos or from this video that you're interested in, just let me know. And that's it for this time. Nerd out.